Okay, I'm going to tie a deer hair granum fly, uh, a pattern that I really like, it's done really well for me over the last few years. It, it's a, certainly a fly that um, it's worth having in your fly box. It's, it's one of those things that you never really need them until you need them. Um, granum matches don't tend to happen month after month, not in the UK anyway. Um, they, they happen in short bursts and if you're fishing on the river at the time when a granum match, and granum match happens, then um, and the fish switch onto them. This is this is my go-to fly in those situations. So um, tie a couple up and stick them in your box just in case you're ever in that situation. And then you've got it. Okay, so what you need to tie the fly. Um, the hook I'm using is a TMCO 103 BL. You can tie it in a size 17 or, or possibly even 15. Uh, the thread is just some size 14.0 light Cahill. Uh, we need for the tag section, we've got some dark olive fine flashback from Sibby. Need some strip quill, peacock quill for the body. You need some polypropylene, and you can use either this tan colored stuff or a, um, a gray. I tied it with both, quite happy to use either for the underwing. Uh, for the overwing, I use this deer hair, which is from Wopsy, which is short fine. And I'll use that for all of my river dries, uh, all my caddis dries, or anything using deer hair on the river. It's great stuff. And then finally, at the head, uh, just use a little bit of fox squirrel. Um, that's the stuff I use uh, just to make the fly look like it's got some, some legs at the head. Okay, so let's give it a go. Just attach the thread. Take your uh, flashback, cut it into cut it into a little strip. Okay. So just cut a little strip off the flashback and tie that in. And just wrap it around the hook, hook bend a couple of times. Tie it off. Perfect. Okay, let's trim off the tag end. Okay, just grab your strip peacock quill. This is the natural brown color. And just moisten it before you tie it in. Uh, they're quite fragile, so if you moisten it, it just helps it to prevent it from breaking. So just tie that in. And then bring the thread back up towards the eye of the hook, the touch and turns. And just leave it a couple of millimeters short of the eye of the hook. Just wind the peacock quill over and touch and turns back at the body. Gives you a nice segmented look. That off. Now what we're going to do is give the whole body a coat of UV resin just to protect that fragile peacock quill. Uh, this is the stuff I use, Solar Res Ultra Dry. Uh, it's quite fine, dries quite quickly and, and does dry uh, quite uh, tack free, which is quite good. Give the entire fly a coat of that. As 
just rotate the vice around a little bit just to get an even coating on the fly. And then cure it with a torch. Okay, it's fine. So next you want to tie in the underwing, which is a little bit of polypropylene. Let's just grab a strip of that. Okay, just cut it off nice and neat. Tie that in. Okay, then you want to trim that where the end of the hook is back at a slight angle. So we've got a slight back slant. Okay, now grab your deer hair. Grab it. A decent pinch of deer hair. Get rid of fluffy stuff from the skin of the deer. Into a hair stacker. And just give it a tap. And that should come out nice and straight. There you go. Stick it on top of the hook so it's just covering the polypropylene. So you want the deer hair slightly longer than the polypropylene. And just tie it down, loose, a couple of loose turns. And then when you're bringing your thread back up, pull it tight gradually. And then go in with a couple of tight turns. It's nicely secured. Trim these tag ends as close as you can. Secure it all in with your thread. There we go. Okay, just for the head, just grab some wax and just wax your thread up. The squirrel's not the easiest material to dub on the thread. It's quite springy, so just nip a few pieces of it off. Dub that on. Okay, just hold the deer hair back, the wing, just give it a couple of turns over the roots of the deer hair, it just keeps it all nice and flat. Hook to die the hook, and then just a couple of half inch turns for a whip finish to end.